update today on a story out of Cumberland County where dozens of malnourished cats and dogs were discovered at a home. Two women who live at the home on Marigold Drive, they are facing several animal cruelty charges. We're told more than 50 dogs and cats were taken from the home by animal services late last year. WRL's fateful reporter Gilbert Bays talked with authorities about the arrests and what he's found out about what will happen to all the animals. Well, the warrants were just served earlier this week, but this is a case that started in October when a veterinarian went to Animal Services and said some of the cats that were purchased from the owners of this home here were malnourished. A dog pushes its nose through the curtains of this home on Marigold Drive in Cumberland County. My knock at the door went unanswered. This is where Cumberland County Animal Services got a tip that in October, several cats taken to a local vet from this home were not being properly fed and she was concerned because the kittens were not in good shape and they you know, were underweight and had upper respiratory infections and things like that. 30-year-old Christina Ratley and 29-year-old Jordan Ditter face several animal cruelty charges. They include one felony because authorities say one of the animals in the home was starved to death. It's bad. And for them to be in a house with dead animals, that's terrible. Michelle Bryant lives across the street. She didn't know what to make of the large number of people dropping off cats. And I thought they was running like a shelter for like not abandoned animals, but people that was going out, taking vacation, they was watching the cats. But that wasn't the case. In all, Cumberland County Animal Services collected 55 cats and nine dogs from the home. Animal Service Director Elaine Smith says this is a case of animal hoarding that got out of control. Right. These are people that have the best of intentions when it starts. So, you know, they take in a few cats and then, you know, what's a few more? And But at some point, the number of animals gets beyond their capacity to care for them. And that number, we're told, is the reason it took so long for the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office to bring charges. So there were detailed reports that come from the veterinarian on each one of those cases also for each animal. So combining, you're looking at uh, reports for 55 cats and nine dogs. You know, that's not something you get one day and then you can turn around the next day and charge. So this investigation is ongoing, but the good news is Animal Services was able to find homes for all of the animals that survived. In Cumberland County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. The two women made their first court appearances yesterday. Didier remains locked up. Ratley has been released after posting a $34,000 secured bond. Both women will be back in court March 3rd.